It's me! I'm back! Oh, you'd rather have Alex do the show. Well, tough luck. This is not a democracy. Alex, get out. So this week on the show, Azure and Cloud is now the biggest earner for Microsoft. I have an excellent resource for Cosmos DB knowledge for you. And Azure AD Proxy Services now supports SAML identity. You are watching Azure This Week, a show produced entirely in the cloud. Microsoft 2019 Q4 earnings were announced, and while Microsoft is still making a ton of cash, which of course makes shareholders happy, there was one piece of news that took most of the attention. Microsoft's cloud division, which includes Azure, Office 365, and other smaller products, is now the one with the largest revenue share in the company. In fact, it rose 39% from a year ago, which in itself is a very good growth, but the profit margins rose to 65% as well. Now, while this isn't a business show to tell you to buy, 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 it is of interest because it shows that the investment in Azure is paying off and us, the businesses and developers, trust in the products and services of the cloud. Yep, cloud computing isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, and Microsoft is now worth over a trillion dollars again. A trillion. One of the most useful and generally applicable products in Azure is without a doubt Cosmos DB. This globally available, replicable, multi-model, fully managed, multi-master, single digit millisecond read and write latency cloud database is amazing. I love it. However, because it does so many things in so many scenarios, Developers and IT people can get caught up in using the wrong tool for the right job. But fear not. Rimanimi, which I interviewed for Azure Fireside Chats here on the platform, has created an amazing library of one-page diagrams to explain scenarios from provisioning throughput to querying with indexes to an intro to the Gremlin API. There are more than 50 currently and more added all the time. So check them out and get the most out of, and use the least cash, with Cosmos DB. If you ever wondered how Microsoft turns great developers into sobbing blobs of mush sitting in the corner rocking, it is called Microsoft Identity and Authentication. Oh, I'm exaggerating a bit, of course, but it is up there with naming things and invalidating cache. The Security Assertion Markup Language, or SAML, is used to authenticate users in a single sign-on or SSO scenario. It passes user identity credentials between a service provider and an identity provider, such as Azure AD. And now Azure AD will support it through their application proxies. This means you can use SAML to authenticate your Azure apps against Azure AD that are running on premises or in your private network. The SAML, so that is S-A-M-L, identity for Azure AD is now generally available through the Azure portal. That's it for this summer, well, well, winter here in Melbourne, episode of the show. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team when we try and write amazing jokes for the show, seek and you shall cloud. So see you next week for more Azure news and stories from the cloud. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.